another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the originals this is episode 21 of season one hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first season so far now i can't believe we're on episode 21 that means that after today's episode the next one will be the finale and we have literally raced through season one and it has been so good honestly i've really really enjoyed it and it's that time, obviously, I've repeated it in the past few videos, but in the description, there is going to be a poll to vote for your most liked and disliked characters of the season. Now, I've added Francesca in there. She wasn't originally in it, but she's becoming a little bit of the storyline. She's a bit of a bitch, isn't she, really, let's be honest. And maybe she's one of the characters that everybody dislikes, so she's an option now. If you've not voted, you can go <laughs> and pick her. Speaking of the last episode, interesting. You know, Hayley confronted her, Francesca. She was saying, look, mate, I understand that the person that blew up the bayou, yeah, he was uh, owing money to your casino, 100,000. And um, word on the street is, now that he's dead, the debt's been wiped. And she said, well, you know, I wiped his debt because I didn't want his family to have the burden of paying me back. It's interesting because she could really be doing that as a nice person or did she instruct him to go and do it so that, you know, he didn't have to pay her, so to speak, that was his debt. That's interesting, but then she did counter it to Hayley. She said, look, if I was coming after you, I would have killed you. You would be my target. If I was going to kill anyone in the Wolves, I would go for you. You're the main one. You're the one in charge. And that would be the biggest impact. And another thing, if I was going after you, I wouldn't miss. You know, interesting. And Klaus even reflected that in the statement when he was speaking to Hayley as well. He was uh, well, he was speaking to Hayley or Elijah and he was saying, look, if I was going to blow up the bayou as well, Hayley, you'd be my first target. Oh, it was to Hayley because he was walking in Father K's uh, funeral like thing. He was walking down the road. He's like, if I was going to go after anyone, it'd be you, Hayley. And Elijah was like, you know, if you want to come back to the compound, Elijah, I mean, uh, Klaus, I'd be a little more subtle than that. I won't be threatening him with death. <laughs> it's, it's interesting that. And it's mad because obviously Monique as well right she's getting sick of genevieve not going after um going after Haley and the baby to kill them so she's got a little voodoo doll herself and she stabbed it she put like an infection inside of Haley. so she was like i said walking down um down father k's funeral she popped off to the side she was coughing blood all over they ended up it was genevieve as well the one that shouted klaus klaus Lord, look at her you know she was the one that brought it to attention they zoomed back to the compound put her down on the table um elijah was like get away from me genevieve and uh, klaus was like look it's okay she was a doctor she was a nurse back in the day let her do her thing so she's there trying to save her and i was saying technically genevieve she could do the easy way out she could kill Haley, kill the baby without any of them knowing she could pretend that she's trying to help but not actually do anything now while Haley was down and out she went into like Ah, I would call it the other side, it's easier. Went into the other side, boom, who was there? Michael. He's there trying to fight Haley, saying that, you know, uh, he's a beast, my son. The boy keeps calling that all the time. Got to say, that guy is an asshole. The guy who's cast him is a great actor. Fantastic actor, you know. And people left in the comments as well that... Uh, at a comic con, <laughs> he got a hoppy dance around the stage like um, a total polar opposite to the person that you see on screen. On screen, you literally hate him in real life. Such a nice guy, apparently. Like uh, he loves it, has a good banter with everyone. So again, that's just another testament to his acting skills because of how different he is. So he's going after Haley. He's trying to. He was saying, "Look, your baby's already dead, mate. If you got Klaus as your father, you decided that you're gonna merge with this beast. Yeah, you're gonna have a baby, his hybrid, and all this crap." And uh, Haley, she ended up fighting back. You know she stabbed him she come back to the present she was like <gasps> he tried to kill me you know and they was like what and then obviously klaus said that he had a phone call with bonnie which was interesting would have liked that phone call to be honest but he said the reason why he's around is because the other side is collapsing we see that in the vampire diary season five we're getting towards the end of that we know marcos is back and the other side is indeed collapsing and that's the reason why michael is trying to get out well at the end of the episode he went to davina he was like look you know you want to go after klaus i want to go after him there's a way get me out i'll do it I'm guessing he's talking about the White Oak Stake, that he's got one and he'll go after him. Speaking of White Oak Stakes, right, Father K, he had that necklace, a key around his neck and uh, it was for a box and we didn't know where it was. Well, Kame, she found out that it was buried with a brother. She was thinking, maybe, why, why not put it in a place, yeah, when no one will ever look. And it was true, it was there. Well, nothing was inside that box, but in it, there was those mad coordinate hieroglyphic things that, like, her and her, her brother had learn how to like spell words and stuff and it's a code so she knows where where it is she's not told marcel so she's gonna go and find it i'm thinking inside that box is a white oak state because marcel said that um 
it, it, it was something that was deadly to the vampires. If they ever crossed it, it was like his last ditch thing to get it out to save the humans. So I'm thinking it's one of those, me. I think there's a white old stake somewhere that um, they've got, and that is why it doesn't really want to be in the wrong hands because if Michael comes back, he's getting it. Let, let's be honest, because he's lost his, and it might be in the present now. Cammy's got to protect it. Father Kiri's trying to protect it. If uh, Francesca's going after it, again, she'll try and do something with it. So... That's what I'm saying was in the box or wherever the location is, a white oak stake, and they've got to go after it. I like the conversation between Marcel and Klaus as well towards the end. He was saying, Marcel was like, look, I'm coming after you. You know, I'm not going to back down. I'm going to fight for what's mine. And Marcel uh, and Klaus was like, you know, I wouldn't expect anything different, Marcel. I brought, uh, this is how I raised you. Fight for what's yours. If you believe it, go for it. Love it. Respect, even though they're going against each other. So, that is where we currently are. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please smash the like and the button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you do. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. A lot of driving for a bag of rocks. We'll be in the quarter by dawn. You sure the hybrid will do his part? Hey, they'll make sure of that. Evening, officers. Step out of the car, both of you. I think you should do what the man says. Interesting. Told you that you're awesome. The sun. Oh, he's got his rings. Daylight rings. That guy jogging in the tank top. Now that you have a ring, I think you need to leave town. You okay? Marcel came to me yesterday. He wanted a cloaking spell. He's gonna make a move against Klaus, a big move. If Klaus finds out, hey, then... look, if Marcel's got a plan, maybe Klaus will buy a clue, realize he's a negative on the popularity chart, and go into vampire retirement. If there's a war coming, promise me you'll go before you get caught up in it. Your mother's spell is as complicated as it is elegant. She bound protection magic to black kyanite stones. There should be something in there about fangs. It's what my mother used on us when she turned us into vampires. She'd make a nice gift. I'm sure Haley will be thrilled. Well, not just Haley. You'll be making quite a few of these. You think because I sleep with you, I'm suddenly at your beck and call. Because you sleep with me, love, I'm prepared to offer something more valuable than my protection. My mother's grimoire. You pledge your loyalty to me, beginning with the creation of those rings. This has been your plan all along. You want to build a werewolf army, and you're using me to do it. Do this one favor for me, and you need never fear anyone ever again. It's interesting because I still feel like Klaus would say that promise to her, but then once he gets it, he'll kill her. That's uh, Klaus is not um, what what what's the word like? He would do that. You know, he, he would do that. He would say, yeah, let's do this. You know, you'd be on my side. Give me these hundred rings. And she goes, here they are. Can I have the grimoire? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not, I'm not giving you that grimoire. In fact, I'm giving you death. Boom. And kill her. Do you know what I mean? That is literally what Klaus would do. Now, what's interesting is, when Klaus was introduced, he wanted to make an army of hybrids in the Vampire Diaries. Now, we're in season one of the originals, he wants to make an army of wolves. Similar. Very similar. Obviously, hybrids are better but still really similar. Hey, what are you doing? I tried to be nice about this. I am the new owner of this gumbo shack. I don't want any trouble. I don't really care what you want. I'm a legitimate businesswoman who's never been convicted of a crime. Leader of the human faction. That key is mine. Let me just go find that key I don't have. A very hard city to get by in if you don't have any friends. So I'm going to give you until tomorrow. And after that, I won't be so friendly. She is a proper bitch. Like it. I do like it. Leave him alone. We'll leave your boy alone when you tell us what Klaus is up to. I also know enough about witchcraft to recognize the ingredients of a spell. You want to know the problem with having two werewolf hostages? You really only need one. Wait! You let him go. I will tell you about whatever. Turn into a wolf in about eight hours, D. Drop his ass off way out in the bayou. I suspect they've been shanghai And you didn't feel the need to share this information? The only person who would be bold enough to snatch my wolf allies is the one who has the most to lose. Marcel. The only witch who will aid Marcel is Davina. I just need to get one last pit of leverage. <laughs> Josh? <sighs> I'm sorry. What happened? After all my overtures of friendship, you once again sided with Marcel, forcing me to do horrible things to someone you care about. I can cure him and tell me where to find Marcel. Vida, please. He's at a warehouse at the docks. He'll live another 24 hours or so. I may need you 
And Joshua serves as wonderful leverage. I realize my uncle even had this place until I read about it in his will. And the dude has been in my family for decades. Well, the key, he was as good as they come. No, that's massive. Elijah should have called by now. The treatment of pregnant women has advanced remarkably since I was a nurse, but even I know high blood pressure is bad. You're the point of all this. Klaus and Elijah running all over town. It's all for you. How about a moonlight ring? I need the stones, which will be here soon enough. Uh, accolades to Marcel. He did quite a dance across the bridge of your nose. Although he did leave us a delightful parting gift. What about the stones? I don't know. Untie me, I'll help you find them. Sit still. Marcel fills a room with dynamite, and yet I'm the tactless one. Okay, exercise extreme caution in this general area. A bit of a mess. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Are you trying to kill us? Oh, I should tell me what's going on now. This is for Jerry. That's interesting because they've got a bit like they do have super speed don't they we've seen it but you've got to be fast mate to get out of that with no scratches i expect them when we see them to have some burns on the jackets do you know what i mean like when he was in the bayou yeah he was quick but they, they still had some destruction getting out of that mate it's going to be impossible unless he went flying out of the windows now what um what's marcel playing at you know what i mean man the guy's blown up a building in broad daylight but he must have took those rocks because um you know jackson was saying there he don't know where they are He's, they've took Ollie somewhere, um, told him to leave him far out because obviously they know that he's going to transition tonight. It's going to be the full moon. Um, and what we didn't hear the conversation that Jackson had with 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 Marcel. He, he's got to disclose some information. They've definitely had a conversation, but what is it? He wouldn't have just left him there for no reason at all. I know he said, "Yeah, I've got a plan for this guy." When uh, when Thingy was like, "Should we kill him?" But they're not just going to get him, tie him up, and then just kill him for no reason. They, they didn't find out anything of Marcel's plan, I mean, of Klaus's plan, unless Jackson absolutely spilled uh, before this, which we don't know because we didn't get to see that. So it is interesting. Thank God you're alive. I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Those an empowered werewolf army would mean the end of vampires in New Orleans. The explosion is his way of saying he means to prevent that. Those stones will be hard to replace. Fortunately, I always have a backup plan. See, so you've brought company. These are my brothers. I always include them in delicate business matters. I prefer my family to be on the same side as the inevitable victor. And you have what I asked for. What does the human faction expect to benefit from all of this? I only want to solidify our allegiance to the ruling class. I'm worried he might come after me or my family just from meeting with you. It might be in our best interests if we combine our efforts. She's smart. Oh, she, she is smart. She's women away in. Cla uh, Elijah's having none of it. Oh, he really seems to care about you. It's complicated. I think that's the understatement of the year. After tonight, you'll never have to turn again. You know, Klaus isn't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. He's doing it for you. Seems I owe you yet again. I understand he risked his life to save his friend. I was supposed to be betrothed to Jackson. Understand the need to make sacrifices for one's family. Elijah, for once in your mortal life, can you just not be so noble? What would you have me do? Tell me that you think betrothals are stupid. Tell me that I have a choice. Mm, yes, Elijah. You will always have a choice. So a spell is designed to control transformation. I need the blood of a werewolf who doesn't turn on a full moon. I am half wolf. I control my form. Use my blood. If you fail, to uphold your end of the deal. The consequences for you will be apocalyptic. He's so serious, isn't he? The fireworks at the docks, that was me, trying to spoil his plan. We stood against Klaus before and we failed. Uh-uh, that's on me. If we don't stand against him now, our lives aren't worth a damn anyway. I know my friends and I know my enemy. I know his strengths. I know his pride. We kill their witch, destroy her spell book, and get the hell out. Yeah. Who's with me? He's got that speech, isn't there? Even Thierry acknowledged that to him when he was on the roof. He's like, you are one. You've always been one with words. He is, man. He always does a good speech. It's interesting. 
smart as well that he knows that class is going to go after him. So what he's going to do, he's just going to be the deterrent. Is that, like, he's going to be the diversion, that's it. He, he's going to drag him around, running ragged everywhere, chasing him while the rest sneak up and get in through the back door. So it's going to be good. I can't wait. My people say Marcel's on the move and he's bringing friends. My brothers and their security detail won't be much against a vampire army. Go, Elijah. And don't hold back. Too afraid to show his face. I'm here. I'm gonna offer you one last chance and get the hell out of my town. You're gonna have to kill us all. I think I'll start with you. If you don't kill him, I will. Gentlemen. <clears throat> Shall we? How pathetic you've become. I got the detonators from Francesca. Why don't you ask her about the Bayou bombing? I'm not a monster, Klaus. I'm not you. My family's been in New Orleans for a long time. Oh, go on, Elijah. I'm in a good episode. God, yeah. Oh, she put it down. Choked. Now it's up to you. I'll get them to the bayou. Actually, she was talking to me. Call it a side deal. Point is, I'm taking the stones. She oh, she's done it. Her first F. I'm like you, Haley. Oh, she is. Now I'm going to take back my town. Don't look so dour, Genevieve. We both got what we wanted. What has Genevieve got? She's not got the Grimoire unless he's given it over to her before she's done the spell, which would be a rookie move from Klaus. I don't know. But, oh, Francesca, oh, what a bitch. Now, what a sick bitch. <laughs> like, when she was first introduced, I said it. She is, like, she's pretty scary. She is. And she's confident and she's dominant and she's you can feel the do you know what I mean like sometimes people come in and they pretend they're tough right and you can just feel it you can feel it in your bones when you watch it like I can't take you seriously man you, you, you're you not that scary do you know what I mean like when the first human faction come in and they attack Klaus and there's them generals and they shot the bar them nah man they, they, they give off no confidence nothing this person gives off authority confidence scariness bossiness you know what I mean she feels like the real deal she's got a clan behind her people come in guns she's got a little army she's a drug runner she owns a casino she's got like she's gone to blowing up the bayou you know she's cut a deal against Klaus she's got the witches she's a wolf do you know what I mean she has got all the cards on the table she is a figure like a power figure now do I like her as a character when she first got introduced I thought I did I thought she'd be a good character I thought I'd like her now do I like her? No, I don't. I don't like. I actually don't like her. But do I like her in the show as the character that she is? Yeah, I actually really do. I like so. I physically, I don't enjoy her character. But do I want her to be here? Yeah, I do because I think she's really good at what she's doing. She's crossing everyone. She's showing an authority. She's stamping her, her place in the city, and she's gonna gaze everyone. Literally, she's double crossed everyone, and now she's the one that's got like uh, the upper hand. I'm enjoying it. Like, she's she's really good, even though I dislike her. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Let's go. How well your name fits you, little warrior. Is there no end to your defiance? You summon Michael. Try to bury me in your garden. Always fail. Oh, I fit in. Her family is descended from a werewolf bloodline. Oh, they can attack all the vampires. Oh, what a twist this is. He's... Are we done? Wow, nice job. Oh, a bit of Elijah. <laughs> Isn't it? Ass out. Oh, what an ending to this episode. Oh, shit. I'm a bit famished. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done to me? Well, you were the one who wanted me to cast the spell. And now each full moon, whenever a werewolf uses their power to keep from turning, they will be drawing from your strength. Look me in the eyes, Nick. Were you ever planning to give me your mother's grimoire? 
I suppose you'll never know. Francesca kept her end of the deal. And as for you, the great irony is, in wanting to take the city, you've lost everything. I will kill you. As weak as you are. It is really interesting. Now, she's saying that he's lost Marcel. I feel like he's now retained Marcel because I feel like this woman is against both of them. And what do you do when you, you're both backed into a corner? You create an alliance, yeah? He's going to come back. He's going to join with Marcel. They're going to get forces. They're going to... Well, I think that you're going to get Jackson, Marcel and Klaus and then they're going to go after um, Francesca. That's what I think is going to happen. They're going to create a team. Now, obviously, Elijah's not dead. The werewolf venom by whatever thing in jig doesn't affect him. I mean, it does hallucinate him, but it doesn't kill him. But everybody else, it does. So it's going to be interesting because Marcel's been bit. Has he, has he been bit? I can't remember if Marcel's been bit, but Diego has. Uh, pretty much every single other person that we've seen has. Now, Klaus, she's saying that when they turn, they draw the power off Klaus. But do they all, is this only when there's a full moon, then, that this situation happens? So then when it transitions over and it's tomorrow, is Klaus going to be at full strength again? And then um, then Francesca's not going to be a wolf, is she? Like, because they, their only full powers are when they change, like... When it's not full moon time, she's just a is it not she's just a regular human, but she's she's strong, so she does have the the abilities like you see with Tyler in the day, she's very fast, she can throw people around, she's got super strength, but she hasn't got no power, no bite, no strength, nothing, no force behind her when it's not full moon. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it is gonna be played out in the next day. Once all this has died down. Now, Genevieve as well. I think she's going to go. He might get Davina on his side as well. Uh, but she's still got this uh, Michael situation going. And do you know what I liked as well? She called him Nick. Now, I don't think anybody's called him Nick. And that, that interested me, that actually. I really did like it. Deep down, you knew Niklas would leave Joshua to die. I can heal him. I'll find a way. If your friend needs Klaus's blood to survive, I've been known to spill a fair share of it. And all I have to do is raise you from the dead. A small price to pay to cure your friend. Oh, she's going to give him one. All I wanted to do was rally the Crescents against the vampires. And isn't that exactly what happened? Full die. My people. My pack! The means to make our people even more powerful. Poor Haley. It is a shame. The witches drive a hard bargain. This city will belong to the wolves again. All we have to do is take it. What happens? Do you just have to hold it? Keep it on them? No, no, no! Marcel. Tell him, man, it won't Klaus or Elijah. We need to find Klaus. His blood can heal you. Where is he? He doesn't have her. Please, I know you don't trust him, but you know I wouldn't lie. He doesn't have her. Where is my brother? I left him in the street, and then he got jacked up by some witch's spell. Genevieve. This yeah, is good floor. now. We should take her to the city of the dead. We won't make it. Baby is they need to have the baby now. Yeah. Why are you doing this to me? To be reborn, you must sacrifice. What the hell does that mean? You said, cut it, little bitch! The ancestors are <laughs> offering in exchange for power. Do not take my baby. I will kill all of you. No, you won't. And neither will Klaus or Elijah. No! Fucking waste. Well, I've got well good this episode. <laughs> He's got no powers right now. Ah, you know shit's going down. You know fucking shit is going down, mate. Honestly. Oh, that episode got gold fast, didn't it? When she come in and they dropped that blood on those those rocks, it got good. It literally went from okay to like, holy shit, mate. What an episode. Epic. That was honestly amazing. I love it. So much action is going on. Going down. It is great. And that's going to wrap up today's video. What an episode. Honestly. What an episode. It got so good so fast. Francesca, mate, I'm so happy that I put her in in the in the most likes to dislike characters list at the start of this episode because honestly, she has made an impact. You think, oh, there's only three episodes left, you know, like she's probably not mate. She's made the biggest statement anyone could have made against Klaus. She's done a deal against the witches, she's got the rock, she's got uh, well, she's a wolf. That's what is really interesting. Uh, what what bloodline is she from? Well, she's a wolf. She's transitioned a little crew. They're all wolves. You know, he's uh, going after Hayley, trying to sacrifice her, take the baby, uh, kill it. And then, obviously, I, I'm guessing she wants to kill Hayley as well. They've gone after Elijah. He used Genevieve to take down Klaus. He's not got no powers right now. It took out most of the vampires, literally. I bit them all. Now, 
it's interesting because they've all been bit, so they're all going to die, aren't they? They're all going to be in Josh's state like we just seen there. He's on the table and he's literally wasting away. Davina, she's literally going to go through with helping Michael. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Like, Michael, before this episode, he was the badder. And then after this episode, it's like, wow, Francesca's the baddie and Michael's another addition to the plot. Twist, you know what I mean? So now, while Klaus is going to try and fight her, he's going to have to go after get his dad as well. He's like, what the hell? Do you know what I mean? They're both of them now, literally going after him. Now, it has been like five, six episodes with no Rebecca. Are we going to get her to return and help the boys at the end? You know, that's going to be really interesting. I hope she comes back. She's great, Rebecca. I do miss her, actually. She's a, like she, she she was good between them all because it was friction. But now we need um, people to unite. Now, I know that we had Klaus and Marcel fighting against each other. We had the vampires fighting against Elijah as well. But now they've got one common enemy. They've got, um, they've got uh, Francesca. So we're going to have an alliance. That's what I'm going to say. Get some alliances going. Get them joining together. Create a force. Create an army. Go after her. She's got the wolves, or some of the wolves. Now, I don't know all of them, with Jackson and his crew in the bayou. They've got, he's got Ollie on it. She's got Ollie on his side, but the rest of them, don't know what's going to happen with them. Now, he's got one of these rocks, so is he going to publicly show his faith in her, or is he going to pretend that he hasn't got it and he's going to be on their side when he's not? He'll be their little informant on the inside, you know, chatting to everybody. I'm interested, because where was all the wolves just then, and where have they gone? Now... She linked these rocks to the uh, to Klaus's blood, and I'm assuming that every time it becomes a full moon and the wolves transition, they don't transition because they're drawing off Klaus's strength, which is interesting. That's that's how I'm taking it. The reason that they don't transition is because they're drawing off Klaus and his ability not to transition, so that's how they stay alive. But the more of them they are, the harder it is for Klaus, the less power he gets, the less strength he has. My hail's been took. They force it. Well, she dropped her down, didn't she, Genevieve? And I'm guessing that triggered something, like she said, and they're going to have a baby. Now, Monique was there at the end. She actually does my head in Monique. She, she actually does. If someone could die, I would pick her over Francesca. I don't know why. Because she's just an annoying person. Do you know what I mean? Monique's, Monique's that annoying one in the back, always just saying stuff, doing stuff. And you're like, God, you're annoying. Where, like, Francesca, you're like, you're annoying. But at least you're in here. Doing something, creating chaos, showing dominance, being a figure like you know, like an authority figure, actually having some action instead of just being a person on the side nagging, just pecking head. Do you know what I mean? So Monique's the one that does murder in a bit, but it's interesting because it's just gone not to one hundred like that, and now Michael is gonna looks like he's coming back. Klaus can't really save Josh. That's why Davina's got to go in with Michael. He, I think he knows that there's a white oak stake around. I wondered where it is that he's got it. Now, I thought that there was going to be a white oak stake in that box that uh, Cammy found, but it was just obviously, it was a secret message to a flat or a room or whatever that had a secret back door. Loads of files in there. Father K knew that Francesca... See, Father K knew that Francesca was part of a werewolf descendant family, whatever it is. I am very surprised that he hasn't told anybody about it because that is damaging to him. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would you conceal that information? You would literally say to Klaus, you better watch her. You know what I mean? She's going around pretending she's human, but she's not. She's one of you. She's always, she's got a hidden, hidden agenda. So it is really, really fascinating. And I cannot wait to watch the finale now. Hopefully you guys are as pumped as I am because I am really, really, really excited. Thanks for clicking my video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The full video will be in the description on the Patreon channel. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.